Hello everybody, especially if you love Treadles. Today we're going to learn how to use Treadles Studio 2024. The deck today is about Roger Federer, so I hope you like tennis. It is Wimbledon season after all, if you're watching this during the summer. So first off, we're going to open, get the option to browse your computer and open that text. We're going to open the text on Roger. Here it is, it's only short. We'll go through, create a new project. This is just a really quick overview today. There are more options, of course, but this should be helpful for you to get set up pretty quickly. Kratos is obviously one of the main cat tools that you may use. Once you've used them, once you've used them all, really, but it's probably one of the favorites. So I've been waiting to do this tutorial for quite a long time, to be honest. See, in terms of looking at the source language, we're going to change this one to French, the France variety. For our target language, instead of it is of course English UK rather than any other. As I am from the Fair Isles of Britain, we'll click on the text there just to select the file. And go to finish. There are some more options that you can go through otherwise, but we're just doing this in the fastest fashion possible. So here we are. We can close and tell you that everything has been done inside the program magically. So now we'll open up and we'll get the standard capital schema come out. So we'll have the French on the left side, and we'll be adding the English text on the right. This will not be the best translation you've ever seen. We're going to just do this quickly for the purposes of showing you how this all works. So we'll have a quick click on the Roger Federer text, which will just come up. Giving it a moment or two right now to load really quickly. We'll just get rid of this language weaver window that we don't need. So there it is. We're going to begin. Opening up, we're going to type into that box on the right. So we'll type our, our translation as we go. There's not too much difficult here to deal with. And this is, as I've said before, just a short text so we can understand what's going on. We'll type in our details about Roger Federer, which you will do in your own time. Now, the really important part is what happens when we complete our translation of a segment. Of course, you might want to go back. You know, and have a second think. If you're not, you might have research to do, but to confirm, control and enter, control and enter. You can see in the middle, the little tick where the pencil will appear, meaning that I said in this complete. So we'll do the same for the second. You can see as we're writing, you get a little blue pencil, which means you're sketching and effectively having a go at the translation. And when we get to the, again, the end again, we'll also hit control and enter to confirm that segment. We'll then be at 100% completion. If you look in the bottom right, you can see the, the progress, which is really helpful. So now that we're all done, it's time to export our document. So to do this, we will do the following. So we're going to go up to the settings. And what we want to do is go to review. From here, we have the option export. We don't want bilingual review, but we have a few options. You might want that potentially, but the one that we're going to go through out of the, all of the options, there's lots of things that you might want. We're going to go to just straight export files. This will give us a word file as we had in the beginning, except in English rather than in French. So then you can send that off to your translation agency or to your client or wherever else it may go. So once that's all done, I'll open it up and show it to you just as the proof in the pudding to show this all done perfectly. There it is under ENGB, and there you go, our info on Roger. Perfect. So there's a little typo there just for you as well, but like I said, we did it quickly. Hope that was helpful for you. Any questions, write in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and have yourself a great day. Goodbye now.